Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we're going to go through the biggest headlines in the crypto space. A lot to cover off for Ripple. Some really, I think, big news when it comes to the uh, Solana network and much more. Uh, you do not want to miss all of this. Another failing crypto business, um, one that you know some of our members may have been caught up in. Uh, we're going to sort of dig into all of that stuff. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Right, uh, let's get down to the desktop. So we're going to start here on coin market cap and uh, yeah there's some really interesting stuff from the cardano founder charles hoskinson on this actually um so before we get into all of that wonderful uh stuff we've got the total global crypto market cap uh standing at 1.04 trillion dollars down six sorry down 0.64 percent not down six percent that would be crazy bad uh, down 0.64 percent which isn't great either um but what was really interesting here if we just take a snap block uh, snapshot of this we got bitcoin trending and this is the the thing that charles was talking about trending at uh, 26,588.88 um but if we have a look here we've got cardano um biggest loser now what's really interesting here is solanda doesn't say biggest loser and uh in the last 24 hours it's down 3.21 percent uh whereas ada is down 1.3 uh, and then even at the seven days it's down seven percent and uh ada is down 6.21 so um they probably need to add tre uh, you know uh, biggest trending loser uh to, to this uh, is kind of my uh, views on it but let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below uh, did want to sort of touch on that the thing that i really do want to touch on next though is really about um companies going bankrupt crypto companies going bankrupt i have been saying to expect this to be happening right and um this is a london club in uh the the uk um and basically they've said you know it's with uh, a heavy heart that must convey some unfortunate news due to the financial challenges i regret to inform you that black's club has been um collapsed uh, uh com comply So what they have said is that with a heavy heart that they must convey some unfortunate news due to financial challenges i regret to inform you that the blacks club has been compelled to close its doors until further notice the financial resources of the company have been depleted rendering it insolvent and is unable to continue operations at this time sadly black's club remains closed as we pursue voluntary liquidation for blacks limited the process will take two weeks and in this time members will receive direct communications from the liquidators so look what's happened here um is this a genuine business that is uh, going basically out of business um or is this uh, something that's perhaps a little bit more sinister i don't really know the answer to this and uh you know i'm gonna because of that go with it's just a failed business a failed crypto business and this aligns up with what we were expecting uh, to to see in this this bear market the things that don't make a lot of sense to me is you know the the recent talk of purchasing that blacks club in london the talks of dubai new york and all these other clubs that they were opening um like the finances couldn't have possibly ever been there um which you know does raise some you know concerns from from my side now i did mention at the start of the video that some of our community may uh you know have been a little bit caught up in this one we had some people that were working um with us uh, in our discord as part of our team that we took on and um, they were working with this back uh, blacks club i think they continue to work with this blacks club um 
and you know they were um really pushing the nft memberships for this so hopefully the you know um people managed to get out of those earlier when we were kind of saying some of the the warnings and stuff um months back um but you know there's a chance that you know perhaps some people got caught out caught out in this particular one hopefully that's not the case um but yeah look it's, it's part and parcel of this space you've got to keep an eye on these teams um you know i, I didn't personally keep that up to date and that close uh to, to this blacks nft uh membership club thing that was going on um you know because we we exited because we had concerns months months ago um and obviously we raised that with our community in the discord but what i would say is um this won't be the only crypto company that goes bankrupt right or, or you know closes its doors i expect there to, to continue to be more right so we've got to be mindful we've got to be watching these teams and uh look i don't think i think if they're not honest and upfront with people um then you know that's not right and uh that's why people get as angry as they do um anyway moving on we've got crypto trader warns one top 10 blue chip altcoin not looking great uh but, you know, this is basically uh, somebody telling their 196.7 thousand um, Twitter followers or X followers that BNB is not looking great. And yeah, I um, I agree. It isn't looking particularly great. Um, but I would also add Solana to that list because there's some stuff that I'm going to come on to in a moment uh, that aligns very much with uh, it not doing very well. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of people talking about it being one of those you know projects that's going to do really really well in the next bull run for me i'm going to hold off before purchasing any solana to find out what on earth has been going on and uh how uh, i guess entangled with solana are ftx or were ftx because i'm hearing some really concerning stuff and we'll come on to that in a moment um but let's move on uh and and, and this is it right this is uh caroline um she accounts um consistent state of dread over alameda's mounting debts according to what she's she's put out but she's um she's also uh answered some questions around solana right and uh this is really alarming basically uh they were able to turn off solana just turn it off whenever they wanted this is alameda research right they were able to turn off solana um to liquidate people um that were you know either short or long um so really really concerning stuff that we're we're hearing here and uh you know they, they talk about it obviously being a very centralized project a vc project which you know we've we've used this this term when it comes to solana before really really concerning stuff like let me know in the comments below are you uh comfortable holding solana um really interested to get your views and opinions but moving on we've got blackrock seeks court crackdown on 44 copycat sites uh some crypto uh, uh, uh i guess some crypto scammers are basically uh looking to to take advantage of the etfs and they've set up all of these different websites making out that they're blackrock and offering crypto related investment opportunities so look we've got to be really mindful that these scammers are going to use every trick in the book possible to part you from your money your crypto and so on so you know we've got to be aware of this stuff going on we've got Han hamas uh, received 41 million dollars in crypto since 2021 in i guess the the preparation for this attack on israel now like my biggest concern with all this stuff is like it just adds more fuel to you know people that don't want crypto and when i say people i really mean the traditional you know finance sector and governments that are controlled by the traditional finance sector right um this all adds very strong um cases to to, to what they're pushing for their agenda and uh, that stuff is is something that i'm not really keen on one thing that i do like to see is the fact that binance are very supportive to closing down a lot of these uh, accounts and stuff like that so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions on that scary stuff um here's an obvious use case for crypto according to solana creator um and he he sort of digs into 
you know, all the different payments uh, solutions and, and stuff like that. Really interesting stuff. But I'm going to drop this down in our Discord for you to read through at your leisure. Free to join the Discord. Why not join it? Link is in the description of this video. We also have membership. Uh, there's a seven day free trial. You get uh, trade ideas, signals, um, TA on request and much more on chain data, project reviews. The list goes on. Check out the membership as well definitely worth investing the time looking into to the membership um we've got ripple xrp um is um basically it it is uniquely cl classified as a non-security according to comments from the um top you know uh ripple lawyer i think he's a ripple lawyer top lawyer top top lawyer it's just a top lawyer not a, a ripple one um but yeah look um it's successfully classified as a non-security in the US after Ripple's court victory against the SEC. Just to, to add to that though, uh, the judge sides with Ripple again denies the SEC appeal. Um, really interesting stuff. There's so much positivity around you know what's coming uh, for Ripple. I, I am really excited about what Ripple is going to do in the next bull market and uh, you know there's a lot of people really interested in it when you look at the volumes on on xrp as well so you know it, it gets a lot of uh heat but you know what i would say is it's a a project that you know has got a lot of eyeballs on it and uh for for a number of reasons right uh we've got cardano prediction it eyes a 2448 percent increase to six dollars this is somebody else's prediction. It's not mine. Um, but what I am going to say is I am going to validate that, you know, it's uh, it's somewhere close to where I think Ada is going. I think Ada will be slightly higher than $6. I think, you know, around the 7 to $10 is very, very achievable for the next bull run for Cardano. You just have to have a look at some of the, you know, stats on, on Cardano. It's the polar opposite of what you see when you look at uh, statistics like wallet counts, uh, when you compare it to the likes of Ethereum, uh, same with total value locked, you're seeing the opposite uh, and it's really positive for Cardano. So super excited about you know what to expect for, for the next bull run when it comes to, to Cardano. I think we should be looking at more than $6 a coin on ADA uh, in the next bull market. But let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And uh, don't forget, this is for educational purposes only and entertainment purposes as well um, this is not financial advice and you should uh, definitely um, do your own research before making any investment decisions this market is super risky and you do risk losing all of your money so there you go thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one